This short training video demonstrates the expense report page. Please watch the video demonstrating the My Wallet page before viewing this video. Procurement card expense reports will typically represent the cardholder's monthly statement. A new expense report for the current monthly cycle may be started as soon as transactions begin to interface from Bank of America. Starting the expense reports early is recommended. At the end of the month, the statement and receipts can be added to the expense report and then the expense report is submitted for approval. To create a procurement card expense report, navigate to Employee Self-Service, Travel and Expenses, Expense Reports, Create Modify. Click the USCID Search Lookup icon to display all cardholders associated to you as a liaison. Note, if you as a liaison are also a travel proxy, all cardholders and all travels, travelers will also be displayed. Remember, this video was created in our training environment where cardholders are named cardholder 1, 2, 3, etc. Normally, the cardholder's name will be displayed. Select a cardholder and click Add. Change the business purpose from employee travel to procurement card. Enter a report description. This may be any description your department requires. However, we recommend it reference the statement it represents. There is no need to enter the cardholder's name in the description as this is already displayed on this page and other pages. After changing the business purpose, the My Wallet link is displayed. Click the My Wallet link to select all or some of the procurement card transactions. Note all procurement card and team card transactions for this cardholder are displayed. You may want to sort the list by account number. Please be careful and do not select multiple card account transactions. On this page, individual transactions can be selected. In this example, I will select one of the Amazon transactions. And the McMaster car transaction and then click Done. The selected procurement card transactions are copied from the My Wallet page into the expense report. Notice the number of My Wallet transactions has decreased. The description entered on the My Wallet page, which was demonstrated in the My Wallet video, was also copied into the expense report as well as the attached receipt. An explanation or description for the transaction is required on each expense report line. This description can be evaluated by approvers and any other view user viewing this transaction in the future. Each cardholder has a default department fund combination assigned to them in their employee profile. This combination will default to each line of the expense report. In this example, both transactions defaulted to university libraries. Any chart field on the expense report may be changed by selecting Default Accounting for Report at the top right.
Notice the department on each line has been changed from University Libraries to Thomas Cooper Library. Chart fields may also be changed on each line. In addition, expense lines may be allocated to multiple chart field combinations by adding accounting details lines. Notice that changing the expense type on the expense report is not permitted. It is up to you as a liaison in your department to determine if the expense types should be changed on the My Wallet page. However, accurately charging the transaction to the correct GL account is required. The GL account may be changed on the expense line accounting details. So please be careful to change each of the GL accounts from the MCC expense type default to the appropriate GL account. At this point, click Save for Later and return to this expense report at a later time to add additional transactions and attach the statement and receipts. I will now demonstrate the month end scenario. It is the end of the month and the cardholder's statement has been downloaded from the payment center. All receipts have been scanned and are ready to be attached to the expense report. Navigate to Employee Self-Service, Travel and Expenses, Expense Reports, Create and Modify. Open the expense report. Attach the statement and batch of receipts to the top of the expense report. Make sure all transactions representing the month in statement have been copied into the expense report and updated correctly. The expense report total should be equal to the procurement card statement. In summary, the expense report matches the statement, the receipts and the statement is, are attached, all of the descriptions are entered, and the accounting information is correct on each transaction line. To review the accounting information in a grid display, select Related Content at the top of the page. Additional related content, such as the enhanced data, may also be displayed. Close the related content by selecting Close on the Settings icon. To submit the expense report for approval, 
Click on the Summary and Submit link. Check the certification checkbox and submit the expense report for approval. If you wish, click the Refresh button until the expense report status changes to Submitted for Approval. Expand the Approval History section to display the approvers to whom the report has been submitted. This video demonstrated how to create a procurement card expense report and submit it for approval. Detailed procedure documents for both the My Wallet page and the expense report page are available on the training website.